So this is because a duck walked past there. The tail's good. Yeah, yeah, it does. Ignore the tail. So she sees something. Keep going, don't let her decide where you're going. Come over here. So for the video, I've just put a prong collar on Jess so that her owners are able to handle her because she's reactive. So I'm just giving her owner time to just get used to the prong collar and the difference it makes in the dog. Does that feel better? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to drag you anywhere now. She's walking at your speed. See the yawning again, that's a coping mechanism. She's not suddenly tired, she's coping with everything. So we've got joggers, which triggered a reaction then. Oh, yeah. But I was a little slow on getting the camera started. She did two barks, that's all, and then give it up. I'll try and be faster next time. So this is because there's a person, there is also a dog. So I'm going to walk her past that. Well, past the person. So I'm scared. Yeah, she's there. There's a lunch there. She's got a figure. All right. Thank you. Hackles are up. The tail's wagging. That was the shock of the surprise, should I say, not the shock. It was the surprise of the prong collar biting back. It's very normal for a dog when you first put a prong on it to do one or two little squeals just till it adapts. So for the video, that was a person, good girl. Got more people. You're doing super good. Again, I'll just pause it a sec. So she's hesitant now for this person. Good girl. So she passed. Hesitant and a very slight oof, and that was it. No corrections needed. She's still getting used to the prong collar, so I really don't want to be issuing corrections until she's used to it, unless I really, really need to. Again, we've got another person. She makes a push chairs. Good. Nothing. Well done. So we're going back the way we've just come. Just because she's more reactive with dogs, so that's what I need to find. Just past the lady, she's not better than I live. We've got people again, not better than I live, very nice. Nothing, nothing at all. Press those people, good girl. So we've got two little, two little dogs up front.
<laughs> so a few, uh, a few little wuffs and a squeak. The two ducks. She didn't do bad. She waited till we were more or less at the side before she started. But that's an improvement from the first lot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just watch her. She's a bit reactive. <laughs> well done, Jess. I'm going up that way. <laughs> So again, a little grumble, a few little corrections, good. No. good she's not done anything, she's not reacted, she's, she can smell it, she can see it. She's, she's all springy bouncing and keeps running into me. So she's just applied a slight bit of tension there as the dog's drifting off. So again, I just whatever she does to me, I do back. So if she only applies a slight bit of tension, that's all I'm doing, very minimum. She twists so well. She's walking and has walked all the time beautifully. She's having a sniff as she's walking. She keeps checking in with me every now and again. She's doing really well. Kids and bikes. Good girl. She was checking in with me then to see what she has to do. She was nudging my hand. So this is a challenge. I'm giving her space. Because we've got a dog over there. So there's your lunge. There's your giving up. So you hear the little squeak again. And it's not anything I've done. She's lunging across me, I'm just flicking my hand the opposite way. So she's having a, a drink and a paddle. I'll give her a bit more lead. Told you she was thirsty. She's off for a swim. <laughs> You're doing good, aren't you? Fetches the bar, so we're just going to stop her. Can you see the dog running? <laughs> it's over this side now. She does have a bad habit of jumping up, which is for reassurance, which is... Again, curious. Good girl, but no barking. Good girl. 